home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS, Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts, Jerron Boots Ennis, Sergey Lipinets. This Saturday, April the 10th on Showtime. Boots Ennis' first televised main event, y'all. Uh, you've all heard the comparisons. If you're listening to this video, you've heard the comparisons to Roy Jones, the young Floyd Mayweather. Uh, my man Stephen Bread, man, he even made a Roy Jones two sharp hybrid analogy in comparing uh, and trying to figure out who he thought Jerron Boots Ennis is. Uh, and Boots freely admits he stole from Roy, stole from Floyd, from Andre Ward, James Tony, SRL, and Pinnell. Stole from all of them en route to trying to become who we all think he's going to be. 2015 National Golden Glove champion, sitting at 26 wins, no losses, 24 KOs. Lippin' yet, 16 wins, one loss, one draw, 12 KOs. It's like this, man. WBA. In terms of world rankings, the WBA is trash at welterweight because they don't have Boots Ennis or Sergey Lipping yet in their top 15 at all. The WBA doesn't. So, decease and desist with the WBA as far as welterweight rankings go. WBC, Boots is 12th, Lipping yet is 19th. WBO, Boots is 7th, Lipping yet is 9th. And in the IBF, Lipping yet is actually ahead. He's ranked 3rd. Boots Ennis is ranked ninth. What's not to love about Boots Ennis, right? For one, he's a gym rat. Uh, so if you stay ready, that means you ain't got to get ready. And literally, Boots does it all. I mean all in the ring. He fights off the front foot. He fights off the back foot. He can fight in the phone booth. He can fight you from distance. He switches stances with purpose. Not, not for show either, it's with intent, like there's purpose to it and you usually see the effects of him switching versus other dudes who just switch for the hell of it because they think it's some cute party trick. Uh, Boots, he rolls with shots, he blocks shots with his arms and gloves and shit. He spins and pivots and sidesteps. It's, it's in textbook, textbook fashion too. It's like some old school boxing shit, man. Some, some Archie Moore, Georgie Benton type of shit, you know what I'm saying? And here's what I love the most. These days, there's a lot of athletes. You know, boxing's full of former football dudes, the basketball dudes, trying boxing. No, 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 no. Boots Ennis is a boxer first who just happens to be athletic. Like, boxing was all he was ever going to do. He just also happens to have that athleticism. He's not an athlete trying to box. And there is a difference. The difference is the know-how. The difference is the thought behind it all, which Boots has. He's also got power in both hands, long ass arms, <laughs> and he coordinates. He coordinates the hell out of his ring attire. Like uh, my man John Witherspoon, rest in peace from Boomerang. Yeah, Boots in his coordinates. Getting back to the fight though, uh, so. Ilya Bob was a step up, Abreu, Chris Van Eerden, they were all step up, step up fights. Sergey Lipinets is a goddamn test. Make no mistake, Sergey Lipinets is a test. Sergey Lipinets can fight, man. Former world champion, 140 pounds. Ask Mikey Garcia. I was at that fight. Ask Mikey about Sergey Lipinets. Uh, ask Lamont Peterson. Ask the undefeated Custio Clayton, who just had his record blemished in a draw. With Lippin' Yes. Lippin' Yes may not have the longest YouTube highlight video you've ever seen or whatever, or the coolest knockouts, you know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. He's coming to fight. He's coming to fight, and he's got Joe fucking Goosen with him. Like, don't let Joe Goosen's hair and the fancy shirts fool you. Joe Goosen's a damn good trainer. Very underrated trainer, man. With all that said, I like Boots, as he likes to say, by punishing performance. I, I do agree with him. I do think Lippin' Yetz is tailor-made, but he's dangerous as hell, man. And I'm not sure if the fight's scheduled for 10 or 12 rounds, but shit, staying in front of a dangerous man for 30 to 36 minutes, that's, that's, that's easier said than done. Still picking boots, but looking forward to uh, seeing him in with the best guy he's fought to date. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. 
Read BBS, BBS, Blackberg Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Televisio, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.